GDP numbers on Thursday. How worried should Americans be that we could be in a recession? We're not going to be in a recession, uh, in my view. Uh, we are, The employment rate is still one of the lowest we've had in history. It's in the 3.6 area. Uh, we still find ourselves with people investing. Uh, my, my hope is we go from this rapid growth to steady growth. And uh, so see, we'll see some coming down. But I don't think we're going to, uh, God willing, I don't think we're going to see a recession. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. And we are having um, a huge problem here in terms of source of information, which I'll most likely stop be using this platform specifically because they keep on changing words or the actual definition of words. So, um, yeah, probably most likely be doing, we're removing this. Also, another thing, I think these companies should be immediately sued into oblivion because now that they're trying to change definitions to fit the narrative of the far left. This is the reason, this is the, the whole point of they're trying to do. Trying to change definitions to fit their narrative, so therefore it could confuse and, uh, and change people. No, we're not going to do this, and we're not going to do it now. We're going to go through actual, actual history and actual true definitions of what happened during the whole time of, the, of what the actual word recession means. Don't be fooled, and don't start be using Wikipedia anymore. It is time to get rid of this, and these guys need to be sued into oblivion. End of story. We're going to go through the actual article here and show exactly what Wikipedia is doing. Wikipedia joins in the gaslighting. Online encyclopedia suspends edits to its recession page after users scramble to change definition to match Biden's claim that the U.S. is not in one. The page was altered at least 47 times over a rough, roughly 24-hour period, with an administrator locking unregistered users out until August. The edit freeze comes as members of the Biden administration have, tr have tried to argue the country is not in a recession by causing doubt on the world's definition. A recession is commonly agreed upon by, by two consecutive quarters of negative ec economic growth. Wikipedia has suspended the, uh, the feature. So, the page was altered at least 47 times. And with, an, and, uh, with an administrator locked to curb, so this is the full stuff here. But they also go on to say, well, I said characterized as vandalism and malicious edits. One member made repeated edits to the Wikipedia and insists there was no global consensus and on the definition of recession in what appears to be a bizarre attempt to push White House messaging. The Commerce Department confirmed in a, in a report on Thursday that the U.S. met that, the, that exact definition, announcing gro gross domestic products and shrank 0.9% in the second quarter, following a decline of 1.6% decline in the first quarter. This is the edit history of, of Wikipedia's recession page. So here we have it. This is incredibly uh, blurry, by the way. I am not quite sure why they have this page. I will most likely do um, an actual cleaner page because this page is not clean at all. In fact, let me do this, guys, because I this is incredibly important. So, recession. Let's see here. It is recession revision history. There we go. Now, we're going to do this one images here. And we'll try to get like a full actual see this is the reason why this is the reason why we have to have the uh, amp order did, did a uh did a better look here but now we have a full actual picture of the actual recession uh, uh recession history rather than whatever this whatever this blurry crap here is I, I don't know why this makes it incredibly hard to read you guys need to do better on your actual images see it's okay from this far out but when you want to exp uh, expand it, you get this blurry mess, and we don't want that. So what we see here is all these things of them trying to change the actual thing here. All this stuff, really crazy. So not too much has been changed. 2022, 2022, 2022, uh, and all, all this stuff. And they're trying to change everything here. So... That's what we see, you know, that's our session uh, with, uh, with Wikipedia page. Now, we'll go down to 
Uh, the Wikipedia page's history showed a flurry of edits with an editor going by the name of Sobrango combing through the page and rooting out any references to the commonly held definition of a recession. So Sobrango then replaced those definitions with lines that more closely fit the Biden administration's take on things. With one lighting reading, there is no global consensus on the definition of a recession. Some editors then tried to rebuke Sobrango's changes only then to have another round of recession redoubting editors change the article back to fit their ambiguous definitions. What I think what... What Wikipedia should do, should have done was 100% close it completely. Not until August, chain, have it locked out completely. It's completely gone. Because th this is the problem here when we have people. So what they uh, Wikipedia needs to be updated to way better standards and have actual people go through them. Because now they're just having random people edit through stuff and change stuff. So it's like, this is a huge problem. So, it goes on to say, a Wikipedia document should have froze the edit, edit feature to due to persistent addition of un unsourced or poorly sourced content, the website reads. While at the top of the page, a banner warns readers that the article may have been affected by a current event and not to take its content at face value for the time being. So, uh, real GDP percent change from the preceding quarter, uh, what's going to happen here, uh, where it's gone down significantly. Um, yes, guys, and we are in a recession. So, it just happened as of yesterday, and it's a pretty big deal. Um, it, this is what I'm getting at. The far left are doing this to change words so they put their narrative so they can have more control and more power. This is the reason why we have to shut them out. And it's, the quicker we can shut these guys out, the more the better our country will be. Alright, guys? So... This is what's happening. As the, winning of the, as the warning sinks for the recession that was realized on Thursday loomed larger over previous weeks, the Biden administration took active steps to cast doubt over the definition of a recession and instead began talking about a period of slow growth. Of slowing growth. It's not slowing growth. It's not. Because you do not go from a normal to a normal percentage to getting to 9.1% recess, 9 .1 in inflation. And on top of that, people will uh, the the people will add on to um, on to uh, what's what's that actual word here? It, it's, it it helps to lower inflation by uh, by putting into um, uh, what's the actual word? God, I, I'll, I'll 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 say it when it comes back to me because the. To lower inflation, you have to increase the amount of uh, of this one word that keeps escaping my mind. That uh, the, to lower inflation, and that that's the way it, is, it has to, to do by lowering it. Uh, in a weekend interview with NBC, Treasury Secretary J Janet Yellen said, "This is not an an, an an economy that's in recession, but we're in a period of decision in which growth is slowing, and that's necessary and appropriate, and we need to be growing at a steady and sustainable, a sustainable pace." On Monday, National Economic Council Director Brian Dees repeated Yellen's claims, referring to this period of uncertainty to a period of more stable, steady growth. President Biden himself latched onto the onto the phrase, denying outright that there was any there were there was any recession. We're not going to be in a recession, in my view. He told reporters on Monday, "My hope is we go from this rapid growth to steady growth, which it's not because it's going to keep on getting worse. The more money that Biden spends, the more money the more that the inflation is going to go up. So it doesn't really matter if he keeps on spending in this massive amounts of money and giving stimulus checks to people. It's only going to hurt them." In the long run, so it's it's like it feels it's a feel goods now type of thing, right? You feel good in the moment, you're great, and then after that, you face the consequences. This is the reason why you cannot be stupid when you're not an economic expert or whatever. You just can't just give people free money because when you give people free money, it makes them lazy. It doesn't make them the work, and then it doesn't stimulate the economy, and it makes inflation worse. It's a it's a constant bound of effects that keeps on happening over and over and over again that causes the issues that we have. Honestly, Trump is also part of the problem here as well. Because when Trump gave out that huge amount of stimulus checks to the entire country, it started hurt, it started doing inflation very, very badly. Because people will go out and spend money to try to go help. It doesn't really help. It It's a thing to help people in briefly, but it hurts them in the long run. That's just the reason why I... That. Now, people want to go say, oh, it's Biden's fault. Okay, yes. It is... Biden's fault for how bad the economy has gotten 
to right now, all right? But you have to understand when Trump was in office, he also helped help do the inflation because he gave so much stimulus checks to people. I remember I was getting one. And now California and I think 14 other states are doing another round of stimulus checks, which is going to make the inflation worse. This is it. People need to stop making so much money. It's like, this is a, you're devaluing the value of the dollar. Um, and by the way, there's also talks of us going back to pretty much the gold standard of, of, of money and gold one gold piece one gold piece by the way if we go back into the gold to the gold standard here one gold piece is worth eighteen hundred dollars a piece of silver as of today is worth eighteen dollars go back to 2019 or so it was worth fifteen dollars so it's gone up for like four th three four dollars so if we go back to that standard, which a lot of people in the modern day don't understand that standard right as of right now, it's going to really mess things up, including the banks. So uh, just telling you now, that's that's potential. I'm not saying what is this. It's just in the talks in the economic community and what potentially might be happening. So prepare for that may happen. Just letting people know. Um, so. I just can't believe I still have not remembered that word. I will, I will, after this, if I don't remember, I will try to look it up and uh, post a video before I end it so that way you guys actually know. Because it's, it's escaping my brain. But there's an actual reason why, well, there's an actual reason onto why inflation also, they lower down inflation, they do this other thing to, um, uh, to decrease it. Biden faced fierce criticism on Thursday with when he still failed to mention the word recession in a statement released after the uh, Commerce Department announced the figures which showed the U.S. had entered a textbook recession. It's no surprise that the economy is slowing down as the Federal Reserve acts to bring down inflation, Biden said. Instead, uh, but even as we face historic global challenges, we are on the right path and we will come through this transition stronger and more secure, he added. Citing strong consumer spending and a low employment rate as signs that the U.S. economy remains robust. The White House denied that the U.S. meets the criteria for a recession, saying a panel of economists must officially declare that the economy is no longer expanding. Republican critics accused the administration of flying in the face of reality, with House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy saying in a floor speech, you would rather if we re redefine its recession than restore a healthy economy. Exactly. That's exactly what the case is. Because, again, they don't care about the American people. They never have. They want to destroy America outright. This is kind of apparent. As I said, they would not release or exchange a Russian terrorist that was going to illegally, that was illegally purchasing weapons of mass destruction, or essentially weapons of general, like bombs and missiles, etc., to eliminate or to eliminate Americans for this Brittany Griner person that illegally went in to the country of Russia with drugs. They would not make that position because she did something illegally, she did something bad. Whereas, they want to exchange a Russian terrorist that actively wanted to kill Americans. Yes, they really care about America. Sounds, what their, their actions speak otherwise. Response uh, response from the stock market was muted, however. The Dow dropped 186 points, or 0.856% in morning trading, a relatively small move for the index that has regularly posted much bigger swings in recent volatile trading. Investors may be hoping that the shrinking economy will push the Federal Reserve to halt or reverse its aggressive path of interest rates. There we go! There we go, that's the word. That's the word. Wow, I managed the article. Okay, so yeah, what I'm saying. They... They... They try to increase the amount of interest rates to lower inflation. That's what they try to do, so that way it flows in, in, uh, the, the inflation doesn't get so crazy out of control. And it's still getting bad, so they're going to increase in interest rates to lower inflation. That's essentially what they do. Uh, like highs ahead of the central bank's not loaded its next policy meeting in September. The Fed has been raising benchmark interest rates, as I told you, rates to tackle its soaring inflation, but higher rates tend to put a damper on growth by making it more expensive for business and consumers to borrow. Exactly. However, even as the company ground into reverse in the first half of the year, the Fed's higher rates have not yet put a dent in, in the rising consumer prices. Because th Biden has done so much damage to the economy that the, that the inflation is just going to keep on rising. Remember, remember who did this. It was the Biden voters that voted for this man in, and now they're the reason why that this, all this stuff is happening. So if you want to blame anybody 
blame the Biden voters and then blame Biden, which is the second cause. So blame the Biden voters. Sorry, guys. You were fooled and you were lied to. This is the consequence of being lied to. Time to wake up. The Consumer, uh, uh, the consumer Price Index hit a four-decade high of 9.1% in June and a selling level of inflation for an economy that was apparently shrinking. Biden said in him the same on Thursday that his economic plan is focused on bringing inflation down without giving up all the economic claims we have made. Yes, the inflation, the, 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 the economic growth was shrinking when President, when President Trump was in office because COVID did a lot of damage to that. It wasn't due to the fact that uh, Trump, that Trump actually did, did this. Yes, he helped her increase inflation, but at the same time, it wasn't necessarily his fault because COVID caused this to happen due to all the shutdowns. And when people were criticizing on people shutting down things to stop the growth, it's, it caused a massive amount of problems. But when you talk about that, you get called, you're called alt-right, you're, you're wrong, etc. You get blasted out of the computing, uh, out, of, out, of, out, of, out of the atmosphere. So... The president called on Congress to pass Democrats' new Inflation Reduction Act, a scaled-back version of Biden's Build Back, Build Back Better package that would increase taxes on corporations and the wealthy to fund $450 billion in spending on climate and health care initiatives. Which, by the way, they'll, what that ends up doing, Biden, is that that, will either make the, that either makes the businesses move out of country for lower taxes or fire people so because they can't pay for it because they have to pay for higher taxes. So you end up making people lose jobs than actually gain. So good job on that. In response, Republican critics lashed out fears at the Biden administration, blaming the Democrats' policies for slowing growth and lashing the White House for denying that a recession has arrived. We can't afford Democrats' failed policies, House Minority Leader Kevin, because they said it in floor mark remarks Thursday, but we are certainly paying, paying for them. You will rather redefine a recession than restore a health economy, he added. This, Joe, this is Joe's Biden recession. Biden can lie and deflect blame all he wants, but that will not elevate the plain men and Americans feel every time they fill up their gas tanks, go grocery shopping, check their retirement savings, or balance their budgets, said Republican National Committee Chairman Chip McConnell in the statement. Biden and the Democrats are responsible for our shrieking economy. They're only trying to make it worse, she added. Two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth constitutes the informal and widely recognized definition of a recession. But the White House has been furiously combating the notion that six months of economic contraction amounts to a recession, issuing statements and briefings to push the measures that the economy will remain strong. While some may maintain that two consecutive quarters of failure GDP constitute a recession, that is neither the official definition nor the way economists evaluate the state of a business cycle, the White House said in a statement last week. The statement added it is unlikely that the deadline in GDP in the first quarter of this year, even if followed by another GDP decline in this quarter indicates a recession. So, we have that. And, on top of that, we even have this here. Flashback to Nancy Pelosi in 2008. A recession is, is a two quarters of negative uh, growth in a row. It goes, it goes to here to say, Nancy Pelosi, as we come together this morning, there are new numbers of the on, the econ on the economy. As they reverse the first quarter numbers, they see that it was a period of negative growth. You know, a recession is two periods of two quarters of negative growth in a row. And now they're revisiting it and saying, well, that was, that was negative growth. So, we're seeing here exactly on one of the actual damages that is going on in our country and what they're trying to do to redefine things to them, make them, it's, oh, it's not our fault. We're not the cause of this. It's actually increasing. Don't let them lie to you guys. Don't fall for their BS. The more we have more people wake up, the better our country will be again. Don't let them lie to you. And then vote the correct way. Now, I don't mean just vote for any Republican because not every Repu Republican is a great all be all man, all right, or woman. That they can be terrible, but vote for the right people. And obviously, these are not the right people, at all. They're ruining your lives and your family's lives and your friends' lives. Remember that they're not just ruining your life; they're ruining they're ruining all your friends and family's lives. Remember that. Alright guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.